Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing Max Quattro, Power Pro Max Quattro 20 pound versus Power Pro uh, Super 8 Slick V2. So, stay tuned. And so today I'm going to be using my 10-6 TFO rod. Uh, this is the meter heavy. This is what I primarily use when I scrapper fish out here. Uh, freshwater dams. Basically this is my go-to setup right here. Really light and casts pretty decent. Alright, where's my bean finder? There it is. Alright, here we go. First cast. I think we went to the trees. Let me run down there and check it out. And wherever it stopped, I'll just um, measure my range, come back to the camera. So, as you guys can see, well, you, probably, you guys probably can't see, but my line is going up into the tree. That was a really good cast. Oh man, that is not good. Oh, you guys see line going up. Pretty far up, more than halfway up the tree still, which is not good. Hopefully I could get this lure back. Oh, up there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you guys see that? It's on the ground over here came down. I'm gonna have to cut this line. Come on. There we go. So the line's way up there. So if I was to guess it coming back down, I'll probably give it like can't get too accurate with this. Be this far back, I'm guessing, because lines was way up there. So, guessing here, and I'm gonna sorry, guys, super shaky. walk down the field and I'm trying to get an accurate uh, sh measurement for you guys uh, I'm gonna like need a longer uh, field cuz that's pretty far and that dude still went way way far so I've actually never really uh, measured myself in my casting distance before this is pretty interesting and it's also good to know I have more than 140 yards of line with backing. Even though it's almost to the backing. Alright, so that was close to 140 yards. What happened was I cast it and the lure was still like three quarters of the way up the tree over there. So I don't have the exact um, uh, distance, but I guesstimated, and then I ranged back to the camera, or the box right here, which is right next to the camera, and it showed 139 to 141, I think it was. 
That's pretty decent. There we go. Yeah, and I had to cut the lure off. I'm gonna go ahead and put an angler's clip on. Pretty happy with that cast. Yeah. There we go, that's a good cast right there. All right, right here, I'm gonna go. So, there's a line. This is good cast number two. Here it is. Right here. So from here to way over there. Am I recording? Yeah. It's where the truck is, the camera is. We're gonna go ahead and range it. So that was uh, right there to right here. That was 130 yards around there. So let me do get one more going. We're gonna switch over to the other line. All right. Oh, so that second good cast right there was a hundred. Like 130 yards. Pretty decent cast. Pretty happy with that. I mean, you. It's important for us shore guys to be able to get out far, especially when we're fishing dams, because they're all the way out there a lot of the time. And you want to be able to reach out there. Try to do one more good one right here. Oh, I do get a lot of guys to ask me what kind of gloves do I wear. These are just some like work gloves. This one's cut up, but yeah, I usually just work work gloves. These got like a the rubberized. So this braid line, it's only 20 pounds, very thin diameter. Won't be able to cut me or protect my fingers. Alright, one more. Pretty good gas. Roughly around the same it looks like. So let me zoom in. So man it way over here in the shade right here. Seven thirty already. Okay. That was a good cast. See how far it goes. Get my range finder. 
cast number one that's good i felt was good it's a good release the the lore flew true but i kind of saw where it landed and um it was not didn't seem like it was as far as the max quadro where is it I mean, I'm hoping this line is good. Uh, not even sure if it can this. Oh, here it is. Right here. So, that is actually not bad right there. So, let's range this guy. So 122-ish. So we'll call 122 on that one. Write that down before I forget. Okay. That's good cast right there. Yeah, it looks like it's the same spot again. Range finder. Let's go again. Right here. Same. Hundred twenty six. All right. Last cast. Good cast right there. Oh, I can't see it though. <sighs> All right. Last cast, where are you? I saw it hit over here somewhere. Where? Surely didn't go that far. I don't see my line. Oh, here it is. That's where we're at. All right, so that was number three. And uh, looks like 125, 127. I'll give it 126 on that third one. So, casting wise, it looks like the new V2 casts pretty well. Both liner are basically new. So, not too bad. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna get this in, catch my breath. Uh, so it looks like uh, Max Quattro cast about on average 10 yards further, but I'm pretty surprised, pretty happy with this the performance of the V2 so far, just casting distance. I uh, felt like I gave both these a good swings and lures flew true. The, the, all the lines sounded good coming off the uh, reel, coming off the spool and going through the guides. Pretty happy. This is definitely going to be my uh, new backup line, the Max Quattro. If I, can't, if I don't have any Max Quattro hands. If you get this stuff at Bass Pro, you can't really get the Max Quattro uh, anywhere local. So. That right here looks pretty good. Alright, see you guys at home.